All right, so. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> We're cleaning out the drawers, peeps. <laughs> Hey y'all and welcome to another cleaning video. My name is Amy Darley and today's video is going to be a two day clean with me. It's gonna be super satisfying and I'm hoping that it gives you tons and tons of cleaning motivation. Now, by the time I actually started cleaning today, it's the afternoon, we'd already done homeschool and then I also went for a run slash walk since Chance was home and he was able to stay with the kids and then I started cleaning. So it's pretty late in the day, which is why it took me two days to get all of this cleaning done. So the first thing I'm gonna do here is go ahead and start a load of laundry. I probably should have done this in the morning, which is usually when I do it, but for some reason I had not. I did take a load out of the dryer and I put it on my bed. I'm gonna be folding that in just a little bit, but while I was here in the laundry room, I decided to go ahead and clean up in here because it was a complete disaster in here, which is not out of the norm for us. Our laundry room just becomes messy super quick, so I'm gonna take a minute to just go ahead and clean up in here and put everything back where it actually belongs in the house. We When words are said, we'll regret I can see the fire that we made just to save us When we try to make up for never letting go Said the things we promised not to say Then we break up just to start all over Even though we know This is the hard way to better We can't be hard So now that the laundry room is done, I'm gonna go fold the laundry that I had pulled out of the dryer earlier. And as you can see here, Chance has been helping and the kitchen is basically clean from the morning. I usually clean while they're doing their first little bit of homeschool and doing some of their independent work. But he's actually putting the dishes in the dishwasher for me from after lunch and all of that. So now I'm gonna fold this big pile of laundry and put everything away and then I'm gonna show you guys my closet I actually shared it in last week's video it is a complete disaster the floor is just covered in like clothes and boxes and all kinds of stuff so I'm gonna go through the closet and clean that out too to a place a long time ago when I kissed your lips I can see the fire that Now I'm gonna go ahead and put all of this laundry away since it's folded and everything and I'm gonna hang up the things that need to be hung up. But you're gonna see, I'm gonna leave a pile of clothes in the middle of the bed, which are Chance's clothes that I have folded, but I have been making him put his own clothes in the drawers just because his drawers are packed full and he needs to go through and declutter, which we are gonna do that later on in the video, so make sure to stick around. We're gonna declutter all of our clothes out of the drawers and then I'm also gonna show you how I actually fold my shirts and how to organize our drawers once they're all done. So stick around for that. All right, and here is a look at our closet. It has been become a disaster zone and it's basically just mess all over the floor. Everything else is fine, um, but I'm gonna go through and put all these shoes and bags and clothes and everything back where they belong. That's a huge basket of clothes that needs to be folded and put away in the back of the closet. So I'll end up doing that as well. Um, and then these boxes are full of stuff that was actually from Easter. So this video was filmed the day before Easter 
and I was actually going through the boxes and pulling out all the stuff that I had gotten. So I'll link some of this stuff down in the description box in case you're interested, but that's an orange bathing suit that I got case in. It's super cute. And then a couple of books and things. And then these are glow in the dark Easter eggs. And we had so much fun with those. It actually rained on Easter here. So we didn't get to do it that day. But the next day we had really bad thunderstorms come through and our power went out. So when the power went out, we just went upstairs and we did an Easter egg hunt in the dark <laughs> with the glow in the dark Easter eggs. And we ended up doing it six times. So it's a lot of fun. I just basically put them all in the rooms and they had to go find them. And then we just saw who got the most at the end. There was no prizes or anything for it. It was just fun. So I highly recommend that if you want to do it with your kids, even if it's not for Easter. I'm sure that they'll go on sale on Amazon since it's past Easter now. But now I'm just going to quickly vacuum the floor and get started on this laundry. You make me nervous. You like me too We can take it slow Make sure we do this right Canceled all my plans to be with you tonight Tonight So just sit with me Talking to the night until the morning Building camp Mystery. I don't think I ever want to go come closer next to me Trying to find another way to say this But I think, I think we were meant to be You make me anxious I think I might be stuck on you and now we are moving on to day two of cleaning. So that was all I was able to get done on the first day. And this is actually two days later um, when I finally picked up the camera again. And so the kids were on spring break last week. So I was able to actually start my cleaning in the morning this day. So here I'm using a tool that I get questions about all the time and it's called a Hurricane Fur Pet Wizard and I actually got it off of Amazon several years ago and still use it. It's still going strong but I just use it. Um, Cooper is in here a lot. He sleeps in our bedroom and so even though he doesn't get up on our bed or anything, his hair does get on the bed or we might get lint on the bed or whatever else. So I use it to get the dog hair off. And I feel like it works really, really well. And that's why I've been using it for so long. So if you're interested in this little gadget that I have, you can purchase it off of Amazon. I do have a link down in the description box if you want to check it out. And the next thing that I'm going to do in here is just wipe down all the furniture really quick. I'm going to do just a quick dusting. Talking through the night into the morning building chemistry. I don't think I ever wanna go come closer next to me Trying to find another way to say this But I think, I think You were meant to be with me Talking to the night and to the morning Building cat mystery I don't think I ever wanna go come closer next to me Trying to find another way to say this But I think, I think Next, I am moving into the kitchen, and as you can see, we can make a huge mess in two days. So first, I'm starting with my little basket that I keep in the living room, and I'm going around and getting all of Gracie June's toys and throwing them in there, and then also putting up their computers and just basically clearing everything off and putting everything back where it belongs. Fight it. But we knew we fight it. 
Now I'm just gonna load the dishes into the dishwasher from the sink. This is all from like breakfast. And then um, I was gonna tell y'all that it's just funny because before when my kids were going to actual school and not being at home, I used to have such a good routine and I would make sure to run our dishwasher every night and then unload it every morning. But since they've been home with me, I feel like as I just wait till the dishwasher gets full, I run it whenever it happens to get full, and then I unload it whenever I can. So my routines have definitely just gone out the window during this whole quarantine thing. So if yours has gone out the window too, and you feel like you just are all over the place, then just know that you are not alone. I'm there with you, girl. And as you see here, I am starting my dishwasher because it's full and it's actually the middle of the day. It's not the morning, it's not at night, it's the middle of the day and that's okay. But now I'm gonna just um, put everything else back away, clear these countertops off and do a quick wipe down of all of the counters. Okay, so really quick, I wanna tell you guys about something super exciting. On Thursday night this week, so April 23rd at eight o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I am going to be hosting a girls night, a virtual girls night here on my YouTube channel. So if you are available on Thursday night at that time, then I would love for you to come hang out with us and just go ahead and put it on your calendar, set your reminder, whatever you need to do to make sure that you show up. But it is gonna be so much fun. I'm gonna have seven or eight other YouTubers that'll actually be on screen with me. And then there'll be other YouTubers that are co-hosting down in the chat. So you'll get to see them talking in the chat box. And we're all gonna play games together. So if you're at home, you're gonna be playing the games too. We have lots of prizes for winners of these games. So it's just gonna be a blast. So if you wanna keep up with all the information on that, you can either just show up on Thursday night at eight o'clock, be ready to play, or make sure that you check the community tab here on my YouTube channel or my stories or even on Instagram. I'm sharing all kinds of different things. Bring your snack, bring a drink, and come hang out with us. Yeah, it's a hot day. I'm hanging in the sunshine. You should hit me with a splash gun So I cool down Won't you come on over We can party till the sun's down Baby, let me buy you a drink While we're dancing to blink I could go for some Queen B2 Bass is going boom to clean out these drawers let me show you what they look like and why <laughs> Chance Fairley has been forced to put up his own clothes I like the flat style of putting clothes in but you like the the stack style which used to look like that. it used to be really yeah, nice it's supposed to be that yeah even yeah but even mine is getting out of hand because I like this style because you can stuff them in there but yeah but you can't close the drawers right. try to close your drawer I, I just did you just close it you just push them and you close look seamless and easy. All right, so we're gonna go through 
Let me show you the other drawers. So this is my shorts drawer. I thought it was just a video of me going through mine. No, we're gonna Why do, do you mine to too. In my so that's my like workout clothes drawer, basically. And then these are my shorts. So we're gonna go through and we're gonna get rid of some stuff. We're gonna organize, get it back in order. All right, so we are going to work on Chance's clothes first and he's just pulling everything out of the drawers and kind of going through them. He's gonna be the one to decide whether he's keeping something or if he's tossing it. And then as he is keeping items, I'm actually gonna go ahead and fold those for him to put up later. Now here is a look of how we actually put them in the drawers when they are all folded and everything and it just looks so much nicer than stacking everything on top of each other plus it fits a lot more in the drawers and you can see exactly what you have and where it's at. All right, now we're moving over to these drawers and he has all of his shorts in this drawer. And then in the bottom drawer, we don't really know. I think it's some workout clothes, but also some pajama pants and things like that. So he's gonna pull everything out of these drawers and go through all of that as well. Written down the words to say It is time I've been waiting five days To explain How you make me feel inside Baby Got it all figured out Wanna do this right There's a doubt in my mind Baby Okay, now Chance is gonna go through his socks and underwear and stuff like that. And while he's doing that, I'm gonna get started on my clothes. But he has already put up all the rest of his shirt, shorts, pajama pants, everything. And they all fit in that the top two drawers of that just dresser right there. So we're gonna show you the pile at the end, but we did end up getting rid of a ton of stuff. I got rid of a lot of shirts. I have a lot of t-shirts that are more of a fitted style shirt and for some reason, I'm just not comfortable in those anymore. I like mine to be a little bit looser fitted. So I got rid of a ton of stuff. Um, I'm going through pajama drawer, and then the one right above that is my, um, I have a bunch of bathing suits in that drawer that I'm gonna go through and get rid of. I just feel like I got rid of so much, and it felt so, so good. You're not worth less than perfection. Ooh, thought it was in my pants, now I'm Okay, now I'm back over on this side of the room because I forgot to do these two bottom drawers at first. So I'm going through this one. It has a bunch of like workout shorts and leggings and stuff. I'm gonna get rid of anything and everything that I haven't worn in a while. And then that bottom drawer you saw earlier, it has a bunch of shorts and also um, some bathing suit cover-ups.
just tried on a bunch of shorts and apparently I've gained weight because some of them were way too tight, some way too short, and then the rest I kept and they were fun. But I have been working out, but apparently I've been eating really bad because I, the, all of my shorts, like the ones that don't fit anymore, were super tight around my legs. <sighs> So discouraging, but I'm glad that I tried them on so I can get rid of the ones that don't fit. So have you guys heard of the quarantine 15? It's like the freshman 15, but it's the quarantine 15 because we can't stop snacking. That must be me right now. <laughs> Alright, I'm showing Chance how I fold, so I figured I would show you guys too. A little lesson, a little tutorial. Alright, so I do the front of the shirt facing me, then I fold both arm holes in, arm sleeves in, then fold it in half, yeah. and then I go halfway down, and then the rest. Okay, what I do, this, I don't know why it gets messed up, I just grab it, I don't care if it's front or back. <laughs> okay. I always go arm towards me like that, I flip them, and then I do a half like that. See, there's a problem. What's the problem? Okay, go ahead. And then I just go like that. And that just looks crappy. <laughs> Yours looks better, I don't know why. Maybe because you're doing it like that. See, you see that? I don't like that. Yeah, because when you flip it in like this, you're not able to keep it as straight. Like if you flip it out and go straight together, it's just not as bad. Your your shirt's all crooked though. Oh, it's my shirt now. It's not your folding skills. <laughs> okay. Noted. But I need to show how I do a tank top. I don't have any of those. I'm gonna grab a tank top. Alright, now for a tank top. So this is this is the tank top and I actually fold upside down with the tank top. I take it from the top like this and then fold it halfway over so it looks like this. And then I fold these two sides together in half and then I lay it down and fold it back in half so it sits up like this. So for shorts, the longer shorts, I actually take, I fold them in half this way, and then I fold them halfway like I do a regular shirt, and then I fold them again, so that way it can stand up in the drawer, because otherwise, they're too long. Alright, so this is our pile of all the clothes that we are getting rid of. A lot of that is pajamas and bathing suits, old sweatpants that we're not wearing, things like that, so... We're about to put all this stuff in trash bags and I'll actually show you our drawers really quick. All right, so this is Chance's shirt drawer. I'm not sure what that is. But he's got all of his shirts here. Next drawer, he's got all of his shorts, swimming trunks, workout stuff, and then some pajama pants. Next is my shirt drawer. Then I have my leggings. A lot of them are workout leggings. Some are just LuLaRue, LuLaRoe, or whatever, however you say it. Leggings, my workout shorts, my sports bras. And then the bottom drawer are all of my shorts. And then these are my cover-ups. So this is just my sock drawer, my underwear, or my bras. And then in here, I have all my underwear in this. I have undershirts here all of my bathing suits I know it doesn't look like it's neat but it actually they're actually standing straight up so they fit in here like this is a whole row of bathing suits and then this is a whole row of bathing suits and then down here are the pajamas that I kept most of these are shorts and then a few shirts and then some sets so that's that and then Chance's sock drawer Chance's underwear drawer. 
He doesn't even have to fold his underwear. All right, this drawer is completely empty. I did not realize this. So that was the drawer that had his shorts in there earlier. Oh, both of these drawers are empty. Maybe I should move things around. I don't really know what we're gonna put in there, but I'm glad that that's done. This is the big pile of clothes that we are going to get rid of. All right, so that is it for this two days of cleaning. I hope you guys got so much motivation from this video. Let me know if you end up cleaning out your drawers. And y'all let me know in the comments below what spaces in my house do you want me to clean in some upcoming videos so that way I can make sure to do those places for you in case you need some more motivation. If you are new, make sure to subscribe before you leave. And I hope to see you guys on Thursday night for the virtual girls night. Y'all have an amazing week and I'll see y'all next time. Bye. Gotta say